Again, I apologize for having the world's most retarded detractors. This is actually going to be one of the last videos that I do kind of on this topic for a little bit, maybe a month or so. We need to be talking about ISOM 2. We're going to be engaging and interacting with the fans because that's what matters and that's uh, of the utmost importance. Now, I'm going to set the scene for you. Last couple of days, there have been guys that have gone on like a pirate campaign. Let's just call it what exactly what it is. These uh, idiots have gone out of their way to try to, uh, you know, affect the pockets of the, the company, uh, pirating the, the site, admitting to it, and more so encouraging people to do exactly that. Others just posting several, I'm talking like on the upwards of 30 pages or more um, uh, of this uh, uh, book. For everybody to see even though we've not released any digital copies or anything like that and twitter took some of those guys down as far as the post only been like a few guys that have that have done that now um for whatever reason there of course are a handful of idiots that are trying to spin this it's all he's trying to silence his critics as if these guys haven't been talking for the last year about i someone and talking down you haven't been taken down have you you can say it sucks you can say it's trash you can think it's the worst thing in the world nobody's knocking that even if you posted like a pound or two that's nobody's knocking you for that i mean but yeah you're not smarter than our lawyers number one and this isn't the case of what's going to the government or anything this is twitter's specific policy um, they talk about it on the fair use policy you can look it up yourself if you were sharing like small excerpts and talking about it that's one thing but to sit up there and like share the whole damn material uh, or bulk of the material is a problem and you cannot do that you could you imagine someone and it's funny people are like well it doesn't matter how it was ethically if it was unethically sourced or or something that doesn't matter okay yeah a movie studio is going to allow you just because you got it from someone else to post like let's say even it's 20 to 25 percent of a movie that's out uh that they haven't released like uh and and even if you're talking yeah they're gonna let you do that no of course it's not gonna happen in fact let me show you guys something right here this is actually one of my biggest detractors let's listen to what he said about what happened to him so let me I, let me defend him a bit okay <laughs> and this is weird but I, this post is that i did is pretty uh it's pretty egregiously fucking bad faith so let's let's not give him too much I, credit mm. i found where there were two pirate comic piracy websites that were host both hosting isom number one mm -hmm. and i said well shit i'm gonna help him out and get me more pe eyeballs on that book you know i'm sure more people need to read it right Maybe they'll buy, uh, maybe pump those number two sales numbers up. Um, and so I put, I made this image and I made it look as, as close to an official image <laughs> as I could. Um, and I just started sharing it around saying, oh, look, uh, wow, I can't believe he did that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Okay, before. so you see that right now. That was one of the, again, the biggest detractors that have done that. And again, there were other guys that were just sharing a bunch of pages uh, off of it, specifically uh, from a from the same pirate site that he's referencing. This isn't like them even taking a picture of their own book or anything and just having some uh, discussion. Now, of course, again, you got idiots saying he's a hypocrite and all that. Like, I've never done that. I've never done that. When I was doing reviews for Marvel, that was all material that I bought. And I wouldn't do something as silly as go through the entire book or even the majority of the book or a decent chunk of it like that. Uh, they would they would strike you. Marvel's known for doing this. The DC was known for doing stuff like that. So even when I did show like certain pages, of course, there was material that I specifically bought. I would always, I never would tell people go go pirate stuff or do anything like that. I've never done that with movies even. Um, I just don't see them. If I'm not going to see them, I don't see them. Uh, even like other material where I would share, like to say someone posted something on, on, on Twitter and I'll share excerpt uh, of it or something that I didn't actually uh, uh, have, which didn't happen that often. That's all that I did. I left it contained uh, to that. So if I was talking about that panel or even that page, that was it. I, and again, if you do that, that's that's neither here nor there. But that's not what's happening. Let's just be completely honest about this. Talking about some censorship or he's trying to censor his critics again. You guys have been knocking this company for the last year. None of you got struck. None of you got struck. You only got struck when you tried to pirate it and you bragged about it and you did and you made a focus. Twitter, obviously, they don't allow you to do that. Now, what I find ironic is this is coming from the same group of, uh, of weirdos who last year when PayPal held up a one point some million dollars of our uh, deal, it was always, well, that's their policy. Right. Because you can't do this, even though they got it wrong. You had some people saying, well, it's because of pre-orders. It had nothing to do with why they were holding it. But that was OK. Right. That that was OK. That wasn't censorship or, or, or anything of that nature, despite holding that much money that could have derailed our business. That was OK. It was the same group of people. But now you try to jack my, the, the company stuff 
and now all of a sudden it's a problem, right? Or, or it, 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 it's a problem when you got called out on it, dudes. It's hilarious. Say it's the worst thing in the world. You can talk down as much as you want. That is fine. Nobody's knocking you for that. But come on, let's at least be honest here. And just because you think other people, even people that are, let's say, cool with me, do that stuff, you have never heard me advocate for for piracy or, or anything of that nature. It's one thing, again, for you to share an image. That's your business. But to sit up here and like try to share the entire book, again, that we never released digitally, di digitally and on top of that, encouraging people to to do so, you admitting that you got it from a pop like that that's and, and sharing like several several full pages of the book is a completely different different animal, right? That's a complete and obviously you're doing it in bad faith as well. Nonetheless, we're gonna start focusing on our fans. We're gonna start focusing on supporters. I sum too is on uh, on its way to a lot of people's doorstep. I can't wait for you guys to read early reviews are in. People are loving it, loving the introduction to Blood Growth, and I appreciate you guys and your support uh, all day long. Now, because the book's now going out, you're going to have, of course, detractors wrapping it back up. But it is what it is. Let's focus on you guys. Let's focus on you guys uh, and how you're feeling about the story, uh, the actual customers. Um, that is, we're highly appreciative of you, and we're thankful for all of the, all that you really do uh, for for this company, certainly legitimizing us and uh, having a, a multi million second multi million dollar campaign. Can't wait for you guys to read I some too. At least the guys that haven't.